Hello students, Gate is special online professor welcomes you and uh, today we will discuss last module conclusion module for basics of project management. From this module I am concluding your this subject and I will just uh, ending this subject from this module some remaining concepts I will discuss in this module and I need to suggest all my students just go through with all modules because of once I will start your next subject standards and quality practices in production. Uh, it may be from tomorrow or day after tomorrow I will just uh, just give your uh, I will just give next modules for next subject standards and quality practices okay so everything just what you just studied in basics of project management i will interrelate it there in the in your uh, standards and quality so guys i need to suggest go go to all modules revise properly then you will just understand standards and quality properly after reading of standards and quality again you will come to basics of project management your basics of project management going to be 100 percent perfect for you that's why all subjects are interrelated okay basics of project management designing and drawing your standards and quality and upcoming subjects also everything just interrelated and that's why in a related way i am just running these subjects so in this module i will conclude this subject basics of project management i need to say all my students according to we already discussed the temporary and uh, your uh, uh, unique projects are there but sir according to basis of time we also have some long duration projects okay on the basis of time we are dividing our projects like uh, long duration means sir, more than five year project is there this is known as long duration medium sir three to five year one to three year means sir, short period for example sir special short periods projects are there means less than one year some project is there according to cost sir some mega projects are there means the cost is more than 1000 crore and uh, large projects sir 100 crore to 1000 crore medium sir 1 to 100 and small projects are less than 1 crore okay so according to cost wise just we can just uh, like make some classification of this projects uh, management or projects like this according to speed sir Past track projects or normal track projects. Past track projects means sir uh, speed is more. Normal track means normal speeds. Okay. So according to speed we can just uh, uh, make this uh, classification. Again I need to just discuss one important topic. Project ownership. Okay. You know sir one is a private projects. Second just sir. Second sir public projects. Okay. Public project is nothing means government projects. Government just uh, like giving some projects for public. And third types of projects are running recently. Okay. Recently is this is the trend triple b models okay everything like government just converting their uh, everything into privatization okay means privatization means they believe in public plus private partnership projects okay for example when government is there 100 percent work before done by government but what they are doing their percentage of work given on the contracts for example uh, electrical board is there okay so what they are doing 50 percent works they are uh, providing to some uh, some private companies remaining works they are doing governmentally okay so they are making some partnership with like some private companies i given uh, all concepts like contract contract is nothing sir partnership i given in the last module everything so that's why triple p directly very important but uh, you may ask uh, like uh, full form for uh, this uh, triple p public private partnership okay and uh, you can just also given this uh, uh, this uh, news okay lots of uh, terms like triple p you are getting in the newspapers so this is uh, meaning of triple p now i need to just dis differentiate portfolio program program and uh, project management okay sir we discuss project management but what is the program manager or pro program management and what is the portfolio okay so everything just important i will discuss sir project management means only one project we are dealing that is known as your project management your uh, program management is nothing sir more than one project similar okay similar projects for example i am from technical uh, company okay uh, i i am just like uh, making some two technical project at a one time okay i am utilizing my more resources i am utilizing uh, more uh, like i am just saving my money so program management means sir more than one similar project for example a big organization there so more than one similar projects running at a same time so they will save their cost okay so that is nothing your pro program management and uh, who will just owner of this like owner same thing and program manager is there who will just own like uh, first and second pro your both of projects so more than two projects or more than one projects in program management but very important similar projects should be there means if you are from technical then both should be technical okay but what do you mean by sir portfolio management this is important portfolio management is nothing guys you are using again more than one projects okay more than one project for example two projects okay portfolio means sir portfolio means sir more than two pro one projects 
but sir there may be dissimilar projects are there okay one from technical background one from non technical background so all projects we are doing simultaneously for example sir our government is there our government is there they are working many projects for example uh, we have like a clean india okay clean india digital india every every projects they are running simultaneously okay that is nothing their portfolio portfolio means sir they are utilizing more resources more uh, like uh, they are providing uh, facilities more facilities or more profitable projects okay so what do you mean by portfolio their um, upsc may ask a question like what do you mean by project management everything just we discuss but sir program management is same like project but more than one same projects are there okay for example one technical old technical projects are there but sir in portfolio what happen more than one project also in like a same uh, pro program management but in portfolio and program management only one difference is there in a program management we discuss with same projects okay for example technical technical but in portfolio means sir we are discussing different dissimilar projects also okay like uh, some technical projects some non technical projects or some other projects uh, simultaneously we are discussing or we are dealing then that is known as your portfolio management okay so everything just definition i just provided here now i need to just say my all students just a very important question in in comments also some students given me ask these types of doubts sir uh, what is the dpr detailed project report how to create when to create everything just we will discuss now and i need to suggest my all students just listen properly okay sir initiation phase is the first phase means uh, our uh, our owner is there okay our owner is there owner means sir nothing our sponsors are there sponsor will choose this project okay after choosing we will just initiate phase our initiation phase is there okay in initiation phase we will do pre feasibility analysis and feasibility analysis once everything you done you need to create dpr detailed project report okay so sequence of any project management means first of all you need to do dpr you need to create detailed project report after that you will create a project charter project charter i given definition in starting project charter is nothing means a rules and regulation related to project for example we are living in our indian country means we have to follow some constitution okay some rules and regulations are there so we need to follow indian constitution similar to if you are going for project you need to make some rules and regulation and that is just given by project charter okay so what is going to be sequence first of all you need to just create dpr secondly you will go for creation of a project charter after that you will hire project manager okay upsc may ask a question when project manager hire after dpr and project charter okay you are i want to just clear one doubt here okay means when project manager will hire after preparation of detailed project report and your project charter then we will hire our project uh, manager or project manager team okay so this is from this uh, so that's why sequence is just dpr is first your uh, then project charter then your project manager okay so now next i need to just say my all students one uh, small topic milestone in project management you listen many time milestone okay My, what is the doing by milestone milestone is nothing means sir uh, we we just achieve something we targeted okay so that is nothing your milestone for example this project is there okay start date and this is end date okay so i divided this project into some small small milestone okay first first milestone second milestone and third milestone okay <coughs> so milestone just used for scheduling for example my starting date is there so i need to task for me or my team just to complete first milestone okay at this stage i will say my milestone is completed my first milestone or my first schedule of project is completed means why just this is a management technique project manager just what they are doing they are using milestone a word is milestone okay they create the big project just divided into small parts of milestone so if first is clear then you will go for second milestone after second to third okay you will not create you are running like uh, any way okay you need to complete first milestone then you need to go for second and third okay so this is known as your first milestone so milestone is a used for scheduling milestone provides a way to more accurately estimated your project phase of one milestone cannot begin until okay just listen 
means you are going for second milestone but you need to complete first of all first milestone then only you can just go for second this is not that you are not completing first and going for second this is wrong okay that's why scheduling done by milestone is very important it will reduce our time and cost okay so this is one management technique that's why guys you know if any institute or any company using project management okay techniques they are saving their money also they are utilizing more resources and they are taking less times in project management but uh, that's why this subject project management introduced in your ia syllabus okay so this is nothing guys it means milestone is nothing means we are dividing our scheduling into milestone and uh, day by day we will achieve our milestone next very two important terms uh, very very important terms i i taken from different uh, research okay two terms swiss challenge and reverse bit what do you mean by all swiss challenge this term is important for upsc they mask question reverse it is also important for upsc okay <coughs> first of all i will to just tell switch challenge okay you know sir yesterday we discuss contract contract or tender everything just we discuss sir two tenders are there okay a and b okay for example one project is there and we just make some procurement process okay so two person applied there a and b okay but our company just choosing first project okay but what about second so our government or every government just providing one rule in project management one rule is there switch challenge okay means your company you have to give one other chance i am just taking one example here just listen properly this is very important just see for example my project 10 crore project okay two persons hire means a is telling i will complete this tender or contract in 9 crore and another person is telling i will complete 9.5 crore okay so what our general manager is officer or like project manager will do okay just they will choose to a because of he is doing in 9 crore only but uh, this is impartiality this is like untransparency that's why government just or like governments follow some rules that is known as swiss challenges challenge means you have to challenge this b again one time you need to give more chance to one okay your manager will tell to b a is providing this work in 9 crore if you can provide in 9 crore just submit your documents okay if you are not capable to provide in 9 crore we are giving this project to a okay so this is nothing that is known as a swiss challenge when two bids in the contract before choosing one giving chance to another to match with who selected for tender for bid okay so this is means we are providing another chance for other persons who are also submitting documents for your contracts or tenders okay uh, contracts and tenders uh, i given in the last module now one important term reverse uh, auction or uh, reverse bid reverse means uh, your procurement process procurement process means some seller is there and uh, from customers or like from contractors we are making some bidding okay uh, means we are asking for procurement so reverse bid or reverse auction is also known as your procurement what is the e procurement process or everything just we discussed in the last module same thing just also known as reverse auction or bid okay forward auction means sir uh, one seller is there okay one is a seller one is a customer okay so what customer asking for money something from seller so that is known as your forward but seller to customer okay for example seller want some money okay for like procurement okay for example i given one work okay like 100% work i just provided i need to complete uh, some 5% work from tenders so i need to some some customers or contractors are there they will take uh, some um, like uh, bidding are there bids are there so you have to follow some rules uh, related to like your auctions and uh, procurement process everything just we discuss <coughs> sorry students now switch challenge just over now reverse bid is over so reverse bid is nothing means sir we are applying seller to customer okay two things are there in seller what happen in in forward bid what happen our seller will make some price and our customer buy but in in reverse bid what happen our customer will make price and the seller will buy okay same thing you will do in procurement or not procurement what happen guys government will make some procurement process okay then contractor will come and they will tell i will just complete this work in 10 crore someone will tell 9 crore okay so that is nothing means our customers creating some money or offering some money to complete this work that is known as 
your reverse auction or bid okay so reversely so that is known as your procurement or e auction or e procurement everything just over so this is from your uh, last module and i am concluding here this module and this subject from tomorrow i will just complete or i will start your next subject standards and quality practices in production so thank you guys for watching this video thank you